Good day, dear friends. I'm Dr. Prosper Tido, and I bring you this morning a reflection. This day, a revelation on how to break that habit. And before then, I would like us to have a word of prayer. Lord Jesus, we pray that you have given us even the authority to be able to stand against every situation, even to trample upon snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing will ever harm us. Oh Lord, we pray, thanking you because of the authority you have given us by virtue of us being and walking in Christ. We have authority over all the power or armory of the enemy that comes through various bad habits. And we have the authority and the guarantee that nothing will harm us. And through Christ, we can break that bad habits. Oh Lord, we thank you that you are with us and we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ that love us. Thank you, Jesus. Just begin to thank the Lord for what he has done, even as we move on to the topic, how to break that habit. I don't know what habits may be worrying you. But God knows. And today is your day to break that habit in Jesus' name. Amen. Through Christ, you can break the habits. I can, through Christ, who strengthen me, do all things. This is what the scriptures tell us. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, stubborn habits assume a life of their own. That's why they keep growing. They have a mind that thinks for you, a voice that speaks to you, and a power that keeps conquering you. So, what should you do? Pray and proclaim God's word over your habits. God said, I am watching over my word to perform it. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 12. Pray also, Lord, your word says that if I call on you, you will answer me. That you will be with me in trouble. You will honor and deliver me. According to Psalm 91, verse 15. You promise that through the power of your indwelling spirit, I can be free from this vicious cycle of temptation, sin, and failure. According to your word, Romans chapter 8, verse 2. You said, if I fully committed my life to you, I would have the strength to resist the devil and that he will flee from me. According to your word, James chapter 4, verse 7. Your word says, you have given me the power to pull down my old mental strongholds and take control of every wayward thought, imagination, and impulse. According to your word, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. You promise that by reading and meditating on your word each day, I'll become a partaker in your divine nature and overcome the tendencies of my flesh. According to your word in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4, you promise to strengthen me in my mind, my emotions, and my will that my self-worth would be based solely on your love for me that you do exceedingly abundantly above all I could ask 
or think because you are at work in me, according to Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 to 21. Today, I claim victory over this habit in Jesus' name. Amen. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. God bless you and may your tomorrow be greater than today. Even as you break any bad habits in your life, family, and ministry by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Be blessed.